इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और भक्तों का मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूँ आई वेलकम यू ऑल With my love and respects, I welcome all the television viewers, visitors, disciples, devotees, samaji, satsangi sitting with us around the world. This moment, through Nityananda TV, Lotus News Channel, two-way video conferencing, Sadhana TV, and. to a video conferencing having nayana diksha all over the world cities sitting with us in to a video conferencing having nayana diksha houston guadalupe oklahoma ohio seattle kuala lumpur hyderabad toronto san jose tiruvannamur indrani new jersey Charlotte Sri Salem Vancouver Washington DC Sri Puram Vancouver British Columbia Enriching Temple Bidhi Dubai San Diego La Jolla Hyderabad Gupta Kashi Singapore Singapore Devon UK Monterrey Mexico East London UK Warrington, UK, Ohio, Mashivananda, New York, Varanasi, Astoria, New York, Jorpati, Nepal, Paris, Home Temple, Oman, Sivagangai. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. We'll enter into the satsang. i'll expand on the subject i started yesterday because i attended only one dimension of that subject why why suffering please understand for this question there are some logical answers some illogical answers some imaginary answers some intuitive answers some interesting answers some mystical answers some intellectual answers some emotional answers i can say all possible types of answers have been given for this one question <laughs> this one question is attended so many times the question itself now has been loaded with so much of distorted meanings sometimes so much is attributed to the question means so much of answer has been given the moment you think of the question you feel your brain is burning this is one of that type of questions as i said each answer leads to further answers further questions how this sense answer be made reality for us for example if buddha says desire is root cause of suffering the next question automatically comes how we can make this answer as our experience how we can use it apply it in our life then that becomes a philosophy so each answer to this question becomes philosophy each answer to this question becomes philosophy 
and whoever wants to be a kema philosopher tries to answer this question in a very innovative way in their own way as i said some answers are good for intellectual stunt from stage sitting in the stage you can do intellectual stunt like a all encompassing answers there are some which are not good to be uttered from the stage but very good for the individual who is suffering because they will be precise solutions the precise solutions precise solution is such powerful important need please listen i tell you without precise solutions just with the encompassing solutions people can spend their whole life but they will be wasting it i have seen this happening i have seen many hindu monks buddhist monks christian monks and nuns i have seen many sincere religious leaders they are not insincere they are not unintegrated they are very integrated but unfortunately they try to solve their whole life with all encompassing answers i wanted all the viewers visitors television viewers viewers devotees to know very clearly now if you are trying to achieve completion just by the morning satsang you are doing the same mistake all encompassing answers will naturally lose precision please understand it will naturally miss precisely addressing you and your needs precisely getting your ideas addressed listen dhyan se suniye precisely getting your ideas addressed is the most please understand when you work with the master closely not only your questions problems gets addressed precisely your ideas get addressed now you need to understand i am adding this one word i am giving you i am giving a small twist many time you may not have a problem or question with your settled idea but even that ideas need to be addressed sometime you settle down without any question without any doubt second thought with some ideas even they should be addressed many time your bio memory believes so strongly you are nothing more than the six feet body you settle down with that idea you may not even have a question or a doubt am i only the body you may just settle down thinking that it is a fact even that should be addressed please understand from the dais from the stage the settled ideas in you can never be addressed only when you work with the master only when he helps you to find 
the precise solutions the precise solutions only that can liberate you only that can free you only that can lead to solution please understand yesterday i threw two words all encompassing solutions all encompassing answers and precise solution these two words are the key words of yesterday's satsang today's satsang's key words listen not only answering your questions questioning many of your answers many of your answers need to be questioned why why will you have this answer why will you have this answer sometime such strong answers we carry we are ready to give up even our life but not our answers you are ready to give up your life but not your answers listen because you feel the answers you are holding on is a psychological strength for you believing which you gave up many things you did many things it is like you marry somebody and give up everything else for that person's taste and you accommodate yourself for that person and everything you are morning till night you are thinking feeling acting everything is done for the sake of that person suddenly you discover that person is not integrated to you that person is not authentic to you your whole being is shaken sometime even if you know he is not authentic to you you don't want to believe it you say no 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 don't bring such a important revelation to me such big fact to me no that will be hurting me too much so today i wanted all of you to understand not only you should have the precise solutions for your questions your answers also should be questioned your answers should be questioned when you work with the master closely that is what he does in the morning satsang i'll never be able to answer your questions with the precise solutions and never 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 will be able to question your answers because i do not even know the answers with which you are sitting even if i know where is the time to question everyone's answer sometimes i throw some riddles to question everyone's answers your answers need to be precisely questioned your questions need to be precisely answered only then transformation of the being happens please listen transformation of the being happens 
only when your answers are questioned precisely questions are answered precisely your answers should be questioned in a very precise way your questions should be answered in a very precise way all encompassing answers can create mass hysteria please understand mass hysteria is religion precise solution precise solutions creates enlightened beings precise solutions help a spiritual tradition all encompassing answers create mass hysteria which is religion precise solutions create spirituality which which is a lifestyle precise solutions create spirituality and i tell you when your answers are questioned enlightened beings are created if all your answers are questioned you became an enlightened being i am telling you the exact truth you have no answer left unquestioned everything is questioned the moment you start any answer i think no it's already questioned do you exist do you think in that utter questioning mode you fall into completion please understand completion is the space where you are the moment you come to any conclusion it is incompletion please listen all conclusions are incompletion and completion is the space where all your answers are questioned and you are neither interested in answer nor interested in question you are just be you be all questions answered answers questioned questions answered answers questioned neither answer exists nor question exists is the space of completion people who spend their whole life just with the all encompassing answers never find solution end of the day feel cheated i have seen many hindu monks feeling at the end of their life that they have been cheated by their gurus or by the hindu tradition i have seen christian monks i have seen christian fathers at the age of 70 they come and express their depression to me their inability to solve their problems their inability to live spiritual life their feeling that they are failures i have seen buddhist monks at the age of 80 discovering that monastic life is not possible for them please understand listen listen to this truth if you are missing this line you will you may miss your whole life so please listen if you are also trying to sort out all your problems just from 
the all encompassing solutions mm -hmm. you are wrong you are completely wrong after spending years and years you will only feel depressed disturbed solutions are discovered solutions are found only when you work precisely with your problems and the master sometime master will question your answer so much he himself will become problem for your life really sometimes he himself will become a problem that's the most sweetest problem you can have in your life because he questions he takes away all the answers on which you are standing the ground on which you are standing is taken away it is not there anymore answers of the society so called subtle human beings of the society are the most pseudo component of humanity are the most pseudo beings of the humanity in the modern day i am seeing i am seeing very clearly how the human beings live very superficial life how the human beings don't even feel like questioning their sufferings the modern day middle class middle aged human beings which is a mass please understand the modern day middle aged middle class human beings this is my definition for mass maybe i can add one more word mediocre middle class middle aged mediocre mass is not even questioning their reality they don't even think it is possible you can transform see when you do a act of love by giving something or sharing something enriching somebody you see you are overflowing with joy but you don't want to take that to the next level you don't think taking that to the next level is possible for you you don't even feel you can take that experience to the logical conclusion say this much is enough next i've seen this in my own life my mother is a typical middle class lady but i am a extreme guy in anything i take up anything i take up i am fully into it one day my grandfather was doing maheshwar puja means feeding the sadhus and then after doing the maheshwar puja he did namaskar he fell at the feet of all the sadhus i asked my mother why he is falling at their feet after giving food my mother said we will get shivaloka that is a that much only she knows but she doesn't know at that age itself i already studied the scriptures and started listening and i learnt i think this happened around the age of 6 or 7 by the time i am already exposed to raghubad yogi and his words so she said we will get shivaloka then i told her 
All right, if that is the case, then let us give every day, let us feed all the sadhus who come. Then she said, no, 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 no. We should do only this much. <laughs> I couldn't get a convincing answer from her. Why we not do every day with all the money we have? And even she never thought about it. I asked her, why you do not think further? You say this is good and even you feel good. I have seen her very sincerely she will do. She will cook and feed the annadana, the quality of feeding people. I learnt from her. And still I am happy about it. Still I carry that one pride. All our ashrams and campuses Without even me telling, our sannyasis have learnt this one idea. If you start ashram, you have to feed people. Whoever comes, you should make sure they eat and go. When they start an ashram or a temple, whether it is a America or Aminjigara, Kanchivaram or California, they know one thing. Dhyanapitam means you have to feed. You have to give food. Whatever you have, you have to share with the people. But unfortunately, she never took that to the next level. She stopped enriching people with food. Never to the next level. So I have seen this middle class people, because of their innate mediocrity, do not raise themselves to the next level. See, feeding people is good, but that is not enough. That is not ultimate. You have to have something more than just giving food, enriching people with enlightenment. Just yesterday, I okayed a project plan, I approved it in all the government schools. First, in this next, the four district nearby district we are launching, in all government schools. Every evening, after the school hours are over, we will recruit the same school teachers, we will pay them the salary and make them teach the Nityananda Vidyalaya syllabus about integrity, authenticity, enriching, completion. And one nutritious meal. One nutritious meal. Both we are doing. Just yesterday I approved the project. Please understand, just giving food is not going to be enough. Or just giving the Western education is not enough. You know this so-called education is nothing more than poison whom you are feeding and giving this so-called education, there is every possibility, not every possibility, he will become only useless to himself and to the society. He only develops false identity, doesn't relate with reality. He doesn't become livable for himself or worthy of livable for others to live with him. He can neither live with himself nor live with others. He loses livability in the life. So that is why I decided to bring Balavidyalaya syllabus where they will learn 
life education educating them to live educating them to live integrity authenticity responsibility enriching completion and tuition also they will have their school syllabus also and a nutritious meal we will work with the government officials launch this project in the nearby four schools sorry four district schools then expand it we really wanted to expand it to the whole country because my hope lies only on the next generation next generation should become new generation this is the tag line i gave for nityananda bala vidyalaya making new gen out of next gen making new gen out of next gen is the tag line i gave for the nityananda bala vidyalaya don't be the media kar middle class mass think 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 why suffering question the answers you carry with you why marriage why children why sanyas why life why i am where i am why i am doing what i am doing why i am living where i am living question all your answers you will reach completion i can tell you one of the best way to reach completion is question all your answers questioning all your answers you will reach completion i'll give the essence of whatever i uttered today i shared with you all today in hindi manav ke jeevan mein peeda aur dard kyo upasthit hai is prashn ke liye सभी प्रकार के उत्तर है हर उत्तर और अधिक प्रश्नों को उत्पन्न करता है जैसे जब भगवान बुद्ध कहते हैं इच्छा और मोह ही पीड़ा का मूल कारण है दो प्रश्न उठा है कि इस सत्य को कैसे अनुभव में परिवर्तित किया जा सकता है यही एक और आध्यात्मिक सिद्धांत बन जाता है सबसे अधिक आवश्यक है ये यथार्थ समाधान यदि समाधान यदार्थ नहीं है तो पूरा जीन व्यर्थ हो सकता है जीवन व्यर्थ हो सकता है इसीलिए मैं कहता हूं कि यदि आप केवल सवेरे के सत्संग द्वारा पूर्णत्व पाने का प्रयत्न कर रहे हैं तो आप भी यही गलती कर रहे हैं जब आप गुरु के साथ रहकर स्वयं पर सीधे काम करते हैं तो ना ही आपको आपके प्रश्नों के समाधान मिलते हैं बल्कि आपके भीतर उपस्थित समाधानों के प्रति प्रश्न उठाने की संभावना भी रहता है एक और महत्वपूर्ण विषय है आपके अंतर उपस्थित आपके विचार का ही 
बार आप अपने गलत विचारों के साथ बस जाते हैं किंतु इनसे भी बाहर आना बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है गुरु न केवल आपके प्रश्नों के उत्तर देते हैं बल्कि वह आपको आपके गलत और अपूर्ण उत्तरों के प्रति प्रश्न उठाते हैं आप अपने उत्तरों पर इतना विश्वास करते हैं कि आप अपना पूरा जीवन इसके लिए को देते हैं समाधान यथार्थ होना चाहिए और आपके उत्तरों को भी परखने चाहिए कि क्या यह उत्तर पूर्ण है या नहीं आपके उत्तर को यथार्थ प्रश्न पूछे जाने चाहिए और आपके प्रश्नों के यथार्थ उत्तर मिलने चाहिए तभी आपके जीवन में सही रूप से परिवर्तन संभव है एसेंस ऑफ टुडे सत्संग नॉट जस्ट आंसरिंग योर क्वेश्चन even precisely answering your questions is not enough questioning all the answers with which you are sitting is necessary whenever you question all your answers you stop becoming or being mediocre you become genius please understand the person who lives with answers is mediocre person who questions all the answers is genius if you answer all your questions you may become mediocre if you question all your answers you become genius question 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 all your answers question all your answers you become genius question all your answers you become genius listen listen to the truth samanya krit samadhan dharma ka nirman karta hai yatharth samadhan adhyatmik sampraday ka nirman karta hai jeevan mukta logo ka nirman karta hai sabhi निष्कर्ष अपूर्ण है जब आपके सभी उत्तरों और निष्कर्षों के प्रति प्रश्न पूछे गए हैं तब आप पूर्ण बन जाते हैं जीवन मुक्त बन जाते हैं यदि आप सामान्य कृत समाधान द्वारा अपने जीवन का समाधान कोच रहे हैं आप कभी सफल नहीं हो पाएंगे आपको इसीलिए गुरु की आवश्यकता है जो आपको यथार्थ समाधान देते हैं आज की दुनिया में लोग ऊपर ऊपर से जीते हैं वे अपने प्रश्नों के उत्तर भी नहीं खोजते हैं वे भी नहीं सोचते हैं कि परिवर्तन संभव है जब आप किसी को लाभान्वित करते हैं जो आनंद आप अनुभव करते हैं दो आपको यह भी विश्वास नहीं है कि उस आनंद को अगले स्तर बार पार ले जाना संभव भी है इस माध्यमता के साथ बस जाना सही नहीं है कल ही मैंने एक नए प्रोजेक्ट की अनुमति दी आसपास के चार सरकारी पाठशालाओं में हर शाम को शिक्षक बच्चों को नित्यानंद बाल विद्यालय की शिक्षा प्रणाली देंगे और उन्हें जीवन जीने का ज्ञान देंगे और उन्हें पौष्टिक आहार देंगे सामान्य और मध्यम स्तर के व्यक्ति ना रहिए लगातार सोचते रहिए 
और अपने उत्तरों की पूछताछ कीजिए और आप पूर्णत्व पाएंगे लेट यू ऑल अचीव एक्सपीरियंस लिव एक्सप्रेस रेडिएट शेयर एंड एक्सप्लोर इन एटर्नल ब्लिस नित्यानंद ध्यान पीठम नित्यानंद नगर ऑफ मैसूर रोड बिड़दी बेंगलुरु फोन जीरो एट जीरो टू सेवन टू सेवन डबल नाइन डबल नाइन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट नित्यानंद डॉट ओ आर जी डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम स्लैश लाइफ ब्लिस फाउंडेशन